Okay, let's talk about uh, GPU blocks, polishing the acrylic and getting it put back together with this uh, gasket. So, as you can see, EK releases this with a uh, frosted acrylic. Now, you can polish this to get this get a nice clear look, um, which I like a lot better. Here's one I did last night. Completely finished. Now the secret is, uh, the whole secret to this thing is getting this thing back together with that gasket in place because that can be a real bummer if you don't know what you're doing. So the secret is 3M vinyl tape. Now 3M vinyl tape is a heck of a lot stronger than just regular, uh, you know, your regular material tape, scotch tape, whatever, what have you. And the adhesiveness of this tape is not as strong, especially when it's very thin. This is just a fine line tape for, uh, you know, painting. Uh, guys use this to paint out flames or, you know, what have you. Uh, stencil material basically, but this works awesome holding this gasket down, keeping it in place and you put small strips on your, uh, after you've got your gasket put back together you put your uh, vinyl tape strips long enough to where you can grab them and once you've got this block placed back on, lightly screwed down in a few spots, you can gently start to remove those vinyl tape strips. Now we can talk about how you get this frosted look, how you get this how, how you get that off. I've already started a little bit on this one. But what I use is an air tool since I have uh, access to a air compressor down here where I'm at. I like to use uh, Novus polishing compounds. There's a three-step process, which means there's three different materials. The level three that you get with the Novus kit is a heavy scratch remover. This will take some pretty uh, some pretty harsh rub marks off of uh, clear, clear, clear acrylic reservoirs. Man, that's hard to say. Um, any anything that you have. Uh, clear or you want to have clear this stuff is freaking awesome to use uh, number three of course once again big scratches or more aggressive scratches the number two which is kind of my most popular one that I go to since there's really no scratches on this yet and we're just taking the frosting off uh, number two works really great this is the uh, little bit finer grade polish uh, just meant for fine scratches. It's the one I usually start off with. And then you follow up number one if, if you want to. Uh, it's just a cleaner and it kind of acts as a dust repellent too. Polishing these things quite quite easy. A uh, little mini air gun here. Three inch foam pad. Now you can use a rag not all of us have access to this kind of equipment, but you can use a, a rag if you want. Microfiber rag works. Hell, paper towel probably work. But uh, in my case, this is what I've got. This is what I'm using. Just put a little bit on the pad. And start going to town on this. Now, the reason I did take this off. If I just polish the top of it and remove the uh, frosting from the top, you still have it on the back side, which is visible now through the clear polished up top, and it looks like crap. So the only way around that is to remove this block uh, from the actual sink to make it look, uh, you know, professional. see it doesn't take long with this process um, it's a heck but it takes a heck of a lot longer when you're just rubbing on it with the rag but that does work 
Uh, this just speeds things up uh, tremendously. So we'll get this polished up, and then I'll show you guys the uh, the trick with the vinyl tape, putting the gasket back on the sink, putting the polished block back on, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, let's start putting this back together. Once you've got your block polished up, I think it took me about a half an hour to to polish this one and get all finished here. Uh, make sure your sink itself doesn't have any big pieces of lint or you covered it up when it was open um, just to protect it a little bit. You don't want a bunch of junk in there when you're putting the uh, cover back on. Well, let's start by uh, slowly starting to put the gasket back in. Now this is the tricky part because this gasket wants to pop out and it won't stick in by itself. So what you can do or what I do get all the lint off it too. Now what we talked about earlier the vinyl tape from 3M. The key here get some nice clean edges started. Keep them long enough to where you can grip them off the edge once you get the plate back on get the cover back on. The key here is not to go too far past the actual gasket with the edge of the tape so you're not pulling that much, you know, less to pull basically. And don't stick it down, you know, you don't really have to stick it down too hard. Um, just, just a little bit to hold it. work your way around um, until you have enough and it's going to be common sense where it's going to pop up and where it's not. Um, use as many as, as you need to, as many strips as you need to to keep the gasket in place. So we'll, we'll be right back after I get this back around here and we'll get the cover put back on. Okay, once you have all your uh, tape on, get your gasket back on. Uh, it's going to resemble something like this. I'll tell you right now where the problems are going to be are in your turns. There's quite a few turns in this block. This is the GTX 770 um, acrylic block, uh, CSQ from EK. Quite a few turns down in it. Uh, right down here on the on this edge, there are a lot of bends. So more tape and this one is a problem already I can tell so we'll just uh, reposition this careful not to cover up your screw holes because um, you got to put this uh, block back on it always wants to curl up right in the very last part of it just because of the way the gasket is designed. No problem though, that's what the tape's for. One last little dust off. Make sure your gasket's kind of in the right spot. Make sure everything's sitting right. Because if you do this wrong, you're going to have a leak and you're going to have to take it back apart. It's going to be a serious, uh, a serious bummer. That looks pretty good. So you can slowly start to, uh, real loosely. Just, just, uh, just enough to, to keep the block on, I'd say in the corners, each end, 
just enough to keep the block on and that gasket down while you're pulling this tape out. Kind of what I recommend or kind of what I do. And now the fun begins. I'm trying to take this tape out without tearing, ripping, pulling the gasket along with it. And if you If you were careful enough, this process uh, comes quite easy. So we're going to start here. And what you want to do is want to start sliding it. You can see how it's starting to wiggle. It just pulls right off and your gasket is still in place. So there's one. Grab the end of this one. That one doesn't want to wiggle. Don't pull too hard. Just get it loosened up. It'll pull out. If it's kind of stuck down, which is going to happen, you just kind of got to use that back and forth with a little bit of pull. Now that one's going to be a problem. Yep, see, tore that one off. Still got a little bit to tug on. Got it. If you do tear it and leave a chunk of tape in there, you will have to start over. <laughs> And it has happened to me. But only on one piece on the last block. Gasket still in place. Kind of snug up what I just loosened. Be real easy with it. You can kind of tell if you're having to tug too hard that you might have to loosen a screw or <clears throat> just to avoid ripping it because if you have to take it off and start all over again it's just kind of a, I don't know, you're going to be kicking yourself a little bit. Just for uh, added security, throw another one in here. And when you go to tighten these back down, um, be real careful. You don't really have to add a lot of torque to these screws. If you go too hard, you're going to crack this block. And then you're really going to see some tears come out of your eyes. Because you will uh, you'll have to buy another one. I mean, once you crack this stuff, you're kind of screwed. Be real gentle putting these back down. Use your star pattern torque. You know, tighten in the corners. You know, just kind of use a cross pattern while you do it. Once again, don't over tighten these because you will crack this uh, acrylic if you go too, if you're too harsh with it. So now that one's giving me a little bit of trouble.
All I gotta do is loosen those screws up just a little bit. Might be able to get both of these at once here. And got that one. And there's that one. So, gasket's still in place. All the tape came out, didn't tear anything. Just kind of got these set, just barely any kind of pressure on these at all. Just, uh, you know, real gentle, just to hold the, the top down, hold the gasket in place. And there you have it. Polished EK block put back together gasket back on no trouble real easy the key though vinyl tape or if you got some other kind of tape that's similar that kind of has a little bit of tensile strength and won't rip when you're trying to remove it out of there use it you know, you don't, I'm not saying that you have to use this tape. This is what I had. This is what I did. This is how it turned out. Thanks for watching.